Hey there, how's it going? My name is Antlerboy, and welcome to my Minecraft 116 survival world. This time, we're kicking it off the way we usually do, by catching up to speed with what I've been doing in between episodes in the form of a time lapse. In this one, I start off by building another custom tree by the wheat fields, and then start putting in some details along the edges of my terrain to prepare it for even more detailing in the future. I'll be naturifying this part over time in episodes to come, but it's the kind of building that I prefer doing in smaller increments instead of one big sitting. Another thing I decided to do in between episodes is upgrade a few of the houses I'm not quite happy with, and this one I went in and upgraded the roof. I even made a few changes after this time lapse was finished, so let's hop into first person mode and show you what I'm talking about. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, I'd like to show you guys what I ended up with with this house. If I can first off stick this landing... Yes, okay. So, <laughs> I ended up lowering the top part of the roof here one block, and I think it looks a little bit more proportionate. Another thing you may have noticed in the time lapse is that this part didn't get detailed, so I went in and actually textured that with the bricks, and ooh, another perfect landing. And I actually went in, and since I extended the windows by one block, I also extended the spruce trap doors here. Overall, I'm not going to be messing around with switching up my old houses too much before I get feedback from you guys, but I just really like the roof style I've been using for the milling village over there, so I wanted to upgrade this one a little bit and try it out. So let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. Honestly, I'm really excited to be expanding the terrain that I already have and connecting it down to the naturally generated terrain, and I have some big plans for what I'm going to be building with the surroundings right here, but I have all this open space where I haven't built anything yet on the part of the mountain that I've already built, and I feel like the next few episodes should be me filling that up before moving on to exponentially increasing the size of my mountain, because that's the way it's been going. So what I want to focus on for this episode is building on this area of land right here, and what I'm going to be building is an apiary with some flower fields around, because I need a honey farm, and the unconventional reason that I need a honey farm is because I love this block as flooring, and you might think that's a ridiculous reason to build a honeycomb farm, but hey, that's what we're going to do, okay? So some of you may have noticed that I've already laid out a little template right here for where the beekeeper's house is going to go, and I'm going to have to just lay out a little bit more right here to know what I'm building, and we should be able to get going with the time lapse. So as always, I've laid out the rough template of what I'm going to be building on the ground, and without further ado, let's kick this thing into time lapse mode, shall we? Starting off this time lapse, you might notice that the audio quality is a bit better. I ordered this new mic that's finally here, so henceforth, this is the quality we're going to be dealing with. I got this mic in the mail while I was making this episode, so the rest of this episode is going to be silky smooth. As for what I'm building, this is where the beekeeper of my kingdom is going to be living. The point is to build an automatic honeycomb farm in one of the basements of these houses, and my primary reason for that is to make stacks upon stacks of beehives for building. But now that the latest snapshots have been coming out, it coincidentally seems that honeycombs will be a lot more useful in the coming 117 update, so Honestly, if you ask me, that works out splendidly. I mean, honestly, it would be worth it to make the farm just for the candles that are coming out alone. You'll probably notice the roof style is very similar to the roof I built on the house I fixed up in the intro, and it's just been something I've been working on in creative mode and really like, so I built it on these houses too, just for some consistency in the village. While this second house is being built, let me just take a moment to thank everyone who's been liking the videos and subscribing. I just passed 100 subs the other day, and I was honestly expecting zero views for the first six months of me uploading videos, so getting 100 subscribers in the first two weeks is crazy. I'm honestly so incredibly grateful for all the support I've been getting so far in these videos. It's just, uh, it's been overwhelming, to be honest, and I put so much effort and work into these episodes. I'm building all the time and spending literally all my free time on this, so if you're not subscribed yet and you're liking what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button because, hey, I'd like to see you around. I was looking up medieval apiaries to get inspiration for this build and quickly realized I need way more beehives than I currently have, but I guess that's a problem I can solve with the farm that's going into this place, so that's something. Another problem is that as soon as I placed down the beehives, the bees just started going everywhere, so we'll see if they stick around, I guess. The biggest change to my world came from building these flower fields for the bees to pollinate, and I just think they turned out gorgeous, adding some color to the mountain. I will say that while I was building the rose flower field, I messed up my replay mod recording somehow, so halfway through it just sort of cut out, but 
Hey, at this point, if I'm not messing up a replay recording somehow, it's not really an on-brand Antler Boy video, is it? All in all, I think this is a great first look at what the mountain's gonna look like once all the flower fields are built, but for now, let's hop into first person and check out what we've got. I'll see you on the other side. So those of you who've seen the world tour, you'll know that in this house right here, I actually have a makeshift honey farm that gives me honey bottles. And if I'm right, yeah, I'm set on honey blocks for the rest of my life, pretty much. I'm not even that good at redstone, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to be moving this farm into one of the houses and building another farm for honey combs. And that's the one that I'm excited for. But for now, I'd just like to add honey blocks in a few places like this and see what that looks like. Additionally, maybe add some like full barrels of honey with trap doors like this. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's put a few of those around. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense because this is so big and you'd probably put these in jars and have lids on them. But you know what? I like it. I put another few of these honey pots in this storage room and I really think it livens it up to have the yellow and even though it doesn't really make sense, I think it's the best we can do in Minecraft and I like it a lot, so we're keeping it. While I think our mountain looks amazing with these flower fields, I feel like our little area right here for the beekeeper, it's lacking some trees, okay? And when I built this point coming out right here, I imagined it having a huge tree right here with a bit of a bench or something, just some place you could sit and read and look out over the whole kingdom. So for the rest of this episode, I'd like to build up this tree and decorate some more around these houses, and let's just do what we do and roll the time lapse. I can't help but feel we've made some major progress this episode. I mean, this area is actually starting to come together, and these fields just add so much color and life to this area. And this tree right here is something I've wanted to add for such a long time, so just having my vision come true of this little, this little bench just to look out over the world. I'm a simple man. What can I say? To be honest, the beekeeper's house here wasn't really the focus of uh, this episode, but... I think it turned out really great, really cute, and uh, Prismarine is my favorite block, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. Coming up, though, we are going to have to make the interiors for these houses, and I'm going to have to move the farm for honey I have down there to one of these houses and put a honeycomb farm in the other one, so that's going to have to do for this episode, but I'm running out of time for this episode, so we're going to have to continue this in the next one. Tell me what you liked about this one in the comments below, and hey, if you stuck around all the way to the end, you're the champ. And the only thing left to say is, until we see each other next time, have a good one.